Hey guys, it's AJ Brutico from AJBrutico.com. Do you like to synchronize your music files between multiple computers? Do you hate the way iTunes manages these files and folders and choose to do that yourself? Well, if you do, you may realize that if you add a new file or folder to your iTunes music folder on your hard drive and then turn on iTunes, you're not going to see that information on the iTunes library unless you go to the Add to Library section in the iTunes program itself and add the music manually. Well, I've run into that problem and I think I've found a pretty decent solution. What I like to use is a program called Chronosync. Chronosync will first synchronize all the music that I have between multiple computers or multiple NAS drives or what have you. And then at the end, it will run an automator application that I've written to update the information in the iTunes library automatically so that you don't have to do that manually. If this sounds like a solution that you're into, stay tuned and we'll switch to desktop mode. We'll go over a couple of things. Number one, we're going to go over some very, very simplistic basics of file folder sharing on the Mac. Number two, we're going to talk about Chronosync and how to set up a sync and how to schedule a sync. Number three, we're going to make the Automator application from an Automator workflow that updates the information in iTunes automatically. It takes a little while, but once you're done with this, you'll have an automated system and it's great. So hopefully this helps out. Okay guys, we're going to switch to this view now to show you how to get these things done. As far as sharing files and folders on the Mac is concerned, a couple of things have to happen. First of all, you have to make sure that everything's powered on and is on the same network together. In my case, I'm running a Time Capsule, a MacBook Pro, and an iMac. The computer I'm on now is my iMac. And what I wish to do is get to my iTunes MP3 folder on my MacBook Pro. Now, if I were to go into Finder by itself, I would see this screen. I would go to the shared section. My other computer would show up. But when I clicked it, I would be connected as a guest, as the standard connection. Now, this is the sh shared public folder on the MacBook. It doesn't allow me any access to my iTunes music folder on that system. So, I have to connect as the registered user. Everyone has a username or a password. In my case, I chose for this example to take the password out so I can just hit connect. Now, when I hit connect, all the folders that I've shared on my MacBook Pro will come up in this window and allow me to access them so we can get the sync set up to sync the two different music MP3 folders together. Now I hit connect and you see now a couple of different folders that I've decided to share. I've shared my public, well, my public folder is shared by default. I have my main home folder, my iTunes music folder, and my main hard, hard drive on the MacBook Pro. All of these folders are shared and on the MacBook Pro. You can see the little sharing people icons going across the folders to represent that. Now, how did I get these folders to show up under the shared folder section? Well, that's pretty easy, and I'm not going to switch computers to show you. But we'll just, for example, move this out of the way, and we'll take this eBay folder. And we'll pretend this is a folder on my laptop that I want to make shared so that my desktop could see it. All you really need to do is you need to right-click or option-click and get your secondary menu and go to Get Info. When you get info about the folder, you'll see in the General section there's a checkbox for Shared Folder. If you were to check this checkbox, this would allow the folder to be seen across the network by other devices. That's really all there is to it. So as long as you have your file sharing enabled in the general uh, system preferences and you're connected as a registered user, you should be able to checkbox any folder and it should show up in here as a shared folder. Now, now I, you see I have access to my iTunes music folder on my MacBook Pro. And these are all the files on the MacBook Pro. So I want to synchronize all of these folders with my music folders on this actual PC, or on this Mac rather, and I want them always to be updated and accurate and the same. So what we'll do next is we'll open up, we'll open up, we'll close this out first, and we will open up Chronosync.